Hey everybody, Dawn here, your wellness strategist and nutrition evangelist. I think you know that I'm a foodie. I love to travel and you can see by my background, I am not in my home office today. I am traveling. And so I thought I would pop on and talk a little bit about the things that we have to think about when you love to travel and you love food and you want to avoid what I call the food hangover the next morning. And so I'll share with you, I am in California for just a couple of days, had a very quick trip to take and uh, hopped around and like was running for my flight last night because there was some, some traffic getting to the airport and, and I didn't have time to pick up uh, dinner for, the, for eating before the plane. And I was really happy that I had planned appropriately, right? You, you hear me talk a little bit about planning and how important it is. There's this great saying, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And I don't like to be quite so harsh about it, but the truth is I had uh, good snacks with me, protein, fat, and carbs, make it my PFC meal. And was it the height of cuisine? It was not. However, it kept me fueled, it kept me satisfied, and it was, it was fine in a pinch. And it's way better than not having anything at all and, you know, seeing whatever snacks they have on the flight. So, and then this morning I had, you know, a bunch of calls I needed to be on. And so I didn't get out to the restaurant, but, but they deliver, right? So I ordered up an egg white omelet with spinach, mushrooms, and tomatoes, um, some chicken sausages on the side and a little bit of fresh fruit. And it was, so A, it was delicious, B, it was perfectly balanced, and C, when I travel, I like to be gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, really helps make a difference in how I feel, keeps my inflammation down, all of the things, and the breakfast was delicious, and it was all of those things, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, no fuss, no muss, and, um, and then I know where I'm gonna head for lunch. There's a great little cafeteria and I will, I will get, um, I'll see what the special of the day is or I'll have something from their salad bar, but I know that I've got options and I know that I will have other snacks with me that I can have in the afternoon before we have meetings and dinner plans later this evening. And so, so it really comes down to how do you wanna feel? How much effort do you want to put into it? It doesn't take a ton of effort, but it does take effort. You can't leave things to see what happens, see how it goes. Um, now, the longer you've been living this lifestyle, I've been living it for well over a dozen years at this point. I, I have pretty solid skills, right? I've been doing this a long time. I know that A, I always have something with me and B, if I get into a pinch, I can go into almost any store and figure out something that's going to fuel my body, even if it's not going to be super great on my taste buds. It, it all works out in the end, right? And so these are the kinds of things that I work on with my clients so that you can, you can do all of the other things that you want to do without food being your full-time job. And this is one of the things that I help fit pros and health pros learn how to bring into their business so they can evolve and expand their business as well. So if either one of these is interesting to you, just know that I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up for health pros next year. If you want in and just to know what's going on, drop interested down below. And if you want to know about this for yourself, I've got spots open for two private clients between now and the end of this year. So as always, what I hope for you is that you live a life you love without being hungry, feeling deprived, or giving up the things that bring you joy. Until next week, ciao.